Good morning and thank you for joining me for this time of morning prayer on Tuesday. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Give heed to my sighing. Listen to the sound of my cry, my King and my God, for to you I pray. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I plead my case to you and watch. For you are not a God who delights in wickedness. Evil will not sojourn with you. The boastful will not stand before your eyes, for you hate all evildoers. You destroy those who speak lies, for the Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and the deceitful. But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness, because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouths, their hearts are destruction, their throats are open graves, and they flatter with their tongues. Make them bear their guilt, O God. Let them fail by their own counsels because of their many transgressions. Cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, so that those who love your name may exalt in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord. You cover them with favour as with a shield. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Spirit of God, teach us your ways that we may walk in the paths of peace. Come, let us go up to the mountain of God, to the house of the God of Jacob, that God may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For the law of the Lord shall go out from Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. God shall judge between the nations and shall mediate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O people of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, beginning at verse 31. Simon, Simon, listen. Satan has demanded to sift all of you like wheat. But I have prayed for you, that your own faith will not fail, and that you, once you have turned back, will strengthen your brothers. Simon said to him, Lord, I am ready to go with you to prison and to death. But Jesus replied, I tell you, Peter, the cock will not crow this day until you have denied three times that you even know me. He said to them, when I sent you out without a purse, bag or sandals, did you lack anything? They said, no, not a thing. He said to them, but now the one who has a purse must take it and likewise a bag. And the one who has no sword must sell his cloak and buy one. For I tell you, the scripture must be fulfilled in me. And he was counted among the lawless. And indeed, what is written about me is being fulfilled. They said, Lord, look, here we have two swords. He replied, it is enough. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. 
Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. We say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. So let us pray. Father, we pray that this and all our days may be full of your praise. That you will keep us this day without sin. That we may walk before you in the paths of righteousness and peace. That you will bless your people. And that you will guide and protect us by your Holy Spirit bringing us with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray this day to your mercy and your protection. Generous God, you give us gifts and make them grow. Though our faith is small as mustard seed, make it grow to your glory and the flourishing of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, good morning and thank you for joining me for our time of morning prayer on Monday. Before we start, I would like us just to listen to a piece of music just to bring us 
into the presence of the Lord and for us to focus our hearts and our minds, putting aside the things that trouble us and worry us and allow us to just reflect on God's goodness and the fact that he holds us in the palms of his hands. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 1. Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or take the path that sinners tread, or sit in the seat of scoffers. But their delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law they meditate day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in its season, and their leaves do not wither. In all that they do, they prosper. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. 
make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading is taken from Luke's Gospel, chapter 22, beginning at verse 24. A dispute also arose among them as to which one of them was to be regarded as the greatest. But Jesus said to them, the kings of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors. But not so with you. Rather, the greatest among you must become like the youngest, and the leader like one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at the table or the one who serves? Is it not the one at the table? But I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer on you just as my Father has conferred on me a kingdom, so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. We say together the words of the Benedictus. <clears throat> 